Welcome back to Steamy Sports, where we present Ocean Bowl Games Baltimore 2022. We are about to conduct our CAN, the Art of the Science. This is where we show kids that their favorite sports have STEM in them. That's right, sports science is a career. The ball is going to travel what's called a trajectory. All right, let's read on the screen what the trajectory is. All right, so I still think that some of those kids knew what trajectory meant. So why don't we just explain what it means up here on the board? And before we even do that, let's break it down and spell it to them. How you spell trajectory is T R A J E C T O R Y. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that, Coach George. Cool. So, trajectory is let's have an example here. Let's say that we have one of our players, Brandon, hit the ball with his head. If you see that ball that's traveling, that is what actually trajectory is. It's the path of where whatever you hit is flying through. It's immersive gaming time. How many teams start lining up over here? We are regulators. We have our rules, right? We gonna start with the red oh, squad oh, first. Oh, 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 over there. We gonna line up red over here. Red pod. Red, blue over here, blue over here. Man, let me tell you one thing. This one was fun because it was also funny you had some kids that like yeah. actually did it but then somebody was like i don't want to do it and just like slowly backed away from it yeah i mean it was discouraging honestly well i wouldn't say discouraging i, I would say a better word would be challenging because sometimes when people don't feel like they're ready for the challenge then they get discouraged yeah but for this it required a little technique and a little skill you had to make sure that you uh, hit the soccer ball with your head. You could only hit it. You can only hit the ball with your head. Can't use any hands or, or legs. And you gotta hit it in that center target. And you just have to time it right. Coordinate. Like we said, like it's all about the coordination and timing. That's key. And you also see that as a consistent pattern all throughout the day as well. Yeah, and they quite literally here acted like, you know, dolphins like they were in the ball league. Because they quite literally use their heads like dolphins use. Use their heads, right. They got, Y'all root on now. Y'all root your coaches on. Ready? Go. No, no, no. No, he, he, he's being fancy. All you gotta do is talk to him. All you gotta do is talk to him. Talk to him like he wants to. Did he hit it? Did he hit it in the box? No. But yeah, oh, look, okay. look, as I gave it up, oh, okay. as I gave him the assist, right, mm -hmm. it was perfect. Like, all he had to do was hit it right in the goal in the target. And, you know, off of my assist, he was able to hit it. All right, we're going to go full rotation, and then we're going to have a time effect. Y'all ready? I'm going to go back. Let's go one round, no time. Give everybody a chance to get some points, and then we'll go one time. All right. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Now we got the coaches showing it. Ooh, that was a bad pass. Come on, coach. Oh, that was a bad pass too. Damn. We should have had a tutorial for the coaches to practice. 
Okay, at least they hate it. Like we said, this is gonna be a challenging yeah, one because they gotta try and like figure out the trajectory and stuff when they don't really know what that is. Right? Isn't it so crazy how things that are simple can be challenging? Yeah. Okay, so. Ooh, that one was out of the park. Next time. Oh, oh, no, that was Jump next time. Gotta jump like jumping beans or something. Oh, oh uh, disqualified. She used that's angel. why I had to remind people like some of the kids are getting frustrated, so they're like trying to like use their hands and stuff. I'm like, yeah. you gotta use your yeah. head. Literally and figuratively. Hey. Come on, Anthony. Yeah. And I thought my pass was hey. 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 Yo, that was a good hit, yeah. man. I don't Dejan. know. I don't know if it was the hit. I think it was the fade. It was the just cut, naturally man. athletic, as we're gonna see soon. Tejan's just naturally gifted in athleticism. I think the hit could did it for him, man. Let's go. Oh, that play of Brandon. That was yo. Brandon's been on fire that whole day, man. Like he he just hit it perfectly, and that was a good, it's a good pass too yeah. from Anthony. Hey, Brandon man, sleeper for real. Oh, Marty, Marty almost got that. All right, Joe is right. Ooh. Sheesh, is that Odin? Yo, he just came out of nowhere. Yeah, he out here blocking shots like Matumbo or something. No, no, no. I see why he the MJ of the lead. Oh, he made it. He made it. Let's go. Let's go to the replay. Replay real quick. Man, man, that was a power hit. Yeah, and Krug was even able to block that one. And he was so confident about that, too. So that confident. kid just walked back. You seen the look on his face? He was yeah. proud to hit that. that. Like, I was... did that for my team, man. Yeah. Oh, come on, Devin. All right, we got Coach Caleb to pass. Coach K. Uh, ooh. Damn, bro, he jumped on the floor. What happened? We got, we got Coach Kiki up. Let's see, is she serving to Tejan? Hey, Tejan has some stability though. Right. Ooh! That was a nice one right there. Replay, yeah. Replay, yeah. Like, first of all, good pass, good execution, good hit. Like, yeah. That was the straight up teamwork right there. It's actually a perfect explanation of like our force and trajectory. It's like you saw how he hit that with his head. That for that ex that exertion, that was a force right there. And you could see how perfect that path of travel was. That is what we're talking about when we mean trajectory. It's the path of which we're trying to go to. And force. Boom. <laughs> I 
I'd say at least for that match, for that match, Brandon was definitely the MVP for his team. Yeah, he went all. And we also had out. Jeffrey, who was hyped right there. You can see him going, you know, high five for everybody. Yeah, he, he was excited, man. That was probably his favorite part of the game. Let's take a look at these leaderboards. So for the legends, we got the counselor, the future doctor, and the artist. The counselor came out with 2,000, the artist, 1,000 points. Bumped them up to 9,681. We got got bars, triple threat, and rules. Triple threat, pulled them up to 2,000 points. We got big shots, ball alert, the blast, and just raven. Blast took them up to 1,000 points. And we have extremes. Future Doctor, Sir IQ, and X-Men. Sir IQ took him over the top with a thousand points. Let's look at this head-to-head -head matchup between Triple Threat and the Counselor. Now, Triple Threat, he came out on top with two, two out of three, which equated to 66.6%. Tejon, 50%. Thanks for watching. We will be right back. Contact us, like this, and subscribe. Steam Esports, where kids have fun, playing, learning, and creating. Let's go!